Hi, my name is Kimberly Bressler. I am a PhD candidate in the English Lit and Crit program, and for banned books, I'll be reading an excerpt from Wuthering Heights. I was superstitious about dreams then, and am still. And Catherine had an unusual gloom in her aspect that made me dread something from which I might shape a prophecy and foresee a fearful catastrophe. She was vexed, but she did not proceed. Apparently, taking up another subject, she recommenced in a short time. If I were in heaven, Nellie, I should be extremely miserable. Because you are not fit to go there, I answered. All sinners would be miserable in heaven. But it is not for that. I dreamt once that I was there. I tell you, I won't hearken to your dreams, Miss Catherine. I'll go to bed, I interrupted again. She laughed and held me down, for I made a motion to leave my chair. This is nothing, cried she. I was only going to say that heaven did not seem to be my home, and I broke my heart with weeping to come back to earth. And the angels were so angry that they flung me out into the middle of the heath on the top of Wuthering Heights where I awoke sobbing for joy. That will do to explain my secret as well as the other. I've no more business to marry Edgar Linton than I have to be in heaven. And if the wicked man in there had not brought Heathcliff so low, I should have, shouldn't have thought of it. It would degrade me to marry Heathcliff now, so he shall never know how I love him. And that, not because he's handsome, Nelly, but because he's more myself than I am. Whatever our souls are made of, his and mine are the same, and Linton's is as different as a moonbeam from lightning or frost from fire.